Welcome to the channel. I'm Tom, this is my table, and today I'm potentially going to help you with your GPU's overheating problem. Our model today then is NVIDIA's 2015 budget orientated option, the GTX 950, built on the 28 nanometer process featuring 2 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. So our end goal is to open this graphics card up, give it a good deep clean, and then replace the thermal paste that is on the die of this GPU. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you have bought a graphics card in the last two years or so, just because it will be still under warranty, most likely. Um, so don't actually open it up because usually you will have a sticker on one of these four screws right here. That is your warranty sticker. And if you do remove that, it will void your warranty so you won't be able to send it back to the manufacturer and if you do somehow manage to they won't actually touch it because the sticker is missing or they can actually see it's been damaged so do not peel it off and then stick it back on because they will be able to tell but before we do that there are a couple things you can do that can potentially be the cause of your overheating problem the first step would be to make sure that your pc and your graphics card is not absolutely caked in dust so if it is i would recommend giving it a good clean. And for that, you could use a can of compressed air or you could use a little electric uh, duster. The second step that might actually be overlooked is to double check that your fan is actually fully working and spinning. The way in which you can make sure that your fan is finished, fan is finished is to just boot up a game and play for a good 10-15 minutes and give a check to the fan, see if you can hear it or if you can see it actually spinning. So get up in there with a flashlight or whatever, the torch on your phone, and just make sure that it is actually spinning because you could just have a dead fan, in which case, Again, if it's under warranty, send it back to the manufacturer and they'll change it for you. And if it's not, you can type in the part name and actually get a new fan for it. It's also important that you do actually play a game or do something else that's intensive like editing, something like that, just to put some load on the GPU because some of the newer GPUs, um, well, nearly all of them now do have a zero RPM mode, which basically means that when the GPU is idle and you're just in Windows or maybe like watching YouTube, it's not gonna spin because it's not actually getting hot enough. So you don't wanna accidentally uh, misdiagnose that. If you have given your PC a good dusting and the graphics card and it's still overheating quite a bit, uh, then you're going to move on to the last step which is taking it apart. Again, do not do this if you still have warranty on the card as it will void it. But if you don't, it's fine. Uh, we'll take it apart, give it a good clean and then that should, in most cases, solve your problem. Right, before we get stuck in, we do just want to double check that we have found all the screws uh, that we're going to be taking out. So you will always have these four screws right here on top. Uh, they basically give tension to the back plate and the die underneath and push it into the heat sink or the copper plate that keeps uh, the die cool basically. So you're always going to have those on a GPU so you want to take those off but also you want to take a minute just to look round uh, your GPU and specifically around the heatsink and the back of the card uh, to make sure that there's no additional screws there. So this one, for example, has a really small heatsink because it's only a 90 watt part. But if you have a newer card, let's say a 20 series, even the, even a later 10 series card, like a 1080, uh, something like that, then the heatsink is obviously a bit larger. So you just wanna make sure that you found all the screws. For example, we have one in the back over here and then also one there. Uh, depending on your card again, you will have headers here for the fan. Uh, that basically attaches the fan to the board and gives it power. Um, we're gonna wanna take this out and again, if your graphics card is a larger card, um, then you might want to do that after you've taken out the screws. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll take this out right now. So all you wanna do is you just wanna be gentle with it and. You just want to wobble it slightly while giving a little bit of force and it should just pop out quite easily. Now that that is out, we can start first by unscrewing the screw at the back. Go, we've got that one. And then what we can do, just turn it over and we can start undoing these screws or the main screws holding the actual board down okay once we've taken out all the screws we should 
just be able to lift it off. And there you can see that on this particular card, the um, the paste on the actual GPU is almost non-existent. Um, there's a there's nothing really left on the heatsink. There's like a little rim, uh, but yeah, on the actual sort of core itself, it's uh, yeah, it's looking kind of kind of dry and kind of bare actually, almost like there wasn't enough in the first place. Um, so the next step is to get yourself a duster or air compressor or a fine brush uh, so that you can take all the excess dust off, uh, taking the excess dust off the, the board, the actual heat sink now that you can get nice and inside the little grooves and channels. And then you're gonna want some isopropyl alcohol, which is 99.9% .9 pure alcohol and uh, yeah, a little vase to pull it in, and then you're gonna want some Q-tips or some tissue paper, but Q-tips tend to work the best. Um, so yeah, let's give this a good clean, and uh, we'll be back to you when we apply the thermal paste. After you've given it a good dusting, you can take your Q-tips, dip it in your isopropyl alcohol, and then you can just start gently applying it to the actual core of the GPU. And then it will just start to dissolve the, um, the old thermal paste that's there, that's all dried up. And you just keep pressing it on it. You wanna to go to the side as well. On this GPU, you can see that there is just a large bit that's just been deposited there. And you can change ends. And you can see it starts to pull everything off quite nicely. And then if you have stubborn bits on the edges like round here, you can just get a toothpick. Using a toothpick, you can just gently pull it under and just scrape it off just the extra dried up thermal paste. As long as you're not putting too much pressure and you are quite gentle with it. You also want to be taking it off the actual heat sink as well. Otherwise, you're just gonna have the old stuff hitting the new stuff. At this point, when you've cleaned the dye and the heat sink, you can also take your Q-tips uh, in the isopropyl alcohol. And if there is just any little lingering bits of dust just clinging to the board that you didn't get with your brush, uh, you're absolutely fine to just go over it with this and the isopropyl alcohol will just evaporate really quickly and it will dry. And that way you can doubly make sure if you do have that OCT that you're taking away every single little bit of dust uh, possible. But uh, I'm not that OCD so I'm relatively happy with this. I'll maybe just get rid of a few bits in here just, uh, just below the fan. And then if you did want to go even deeper into a clean of this, you could remove the fan as well by taking off some of the screws uh, that connect the fan and take it all apart like that. Uh, but for this purposes, I'm just going to leave that here. Our final step then will just be to apply some thermal paste directly onto the dye that we just cleaned. So all you want to do is take your tube of thermal paste and since this is a very small die, you do want to put a little bit less than you would do on your CPU. So all it needs is just a little grain of rice, just like that. That'll be absolutely plenty. So after applying the thermal paste, all we have to do is reassemble the card by putting it back exactly how we took it apart. And also just remember to plug in the little cable for your fans, uh, that you're not forgetting that, otherwise your heating problem will probably be worse 
or uh, or be exactly the same. So now that we've repasted and cleaned this GPU, it should run a lot cooler and hopefully you've gained the confidence to do this yourself uh, or you've learned something new. And if it was helpful to you, then maybe do consider leaving a like on the video as it would greatly help me out. And also, if you did want to see this uh, old GTX 950 featured in a future video, then hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!